Good day, Shane. Hi, Michael. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks. Back in the workshop. Back in the workshop. What's on the uh, What's on the bench here? I've been, been waiting a little while for these, yes. but uh, they're real. They've yes. arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can touch them and play with them and <laughs> what have you. Um, yes, finally. Um, a lot of work in these. Uh, now that it's done, um, it's not so bad. But a lot of work to get to where we are. Um, mm. So yeah, here they are. These are the 17 drums that we're going to uh, be offering first up. Mm -hmm. So these will go in store Thursday, mm -hmm. around Thursday this week. So they're, um, re they're real, they're for sale. They're real, they're for sale. Um, there's only a few initially yeah. available. Um, and uh, I'll endeavor to, oh, we'll see how they go. Um, endeavour to, to, to you know, keep them on hand. Yeah. Um, I've got some twenties being made at, at the moment, so we'll um, we'll we'll do the twenties as well. And the fourteens okay. will probably be an order only because there's just just not many of them around. Yeah. But um, so these are. You're going to walk us through the yeah the, the design well, and the construction. Of well, pretty there? much, pretty much it's it's, it's billet, um, and it's uh, obviously steel. Yeah. Um, and they're pretty much identical to the to the original, um, right down to the grooves and the depth and everything else associated with it. Um, the same number of grooves around. Same the number of grooves around the outside. Diameter is the same. Yep. The only thing different with them is these are two kilos heavier. Mm. So two point two kilos heavier, which is a good which thing. Which is a good thing for sure. Um, yeah. And we can make them heavier, um, and we can do that by obviously altering the program in the machine and we can leave the inside diamond with more meat on it, mm -hmm. which will increase the, the weight. We can do a sort of a calculation and work that out. Mm -hmm. But we've got to be careful we don't make the thing want a wheel stand as soon as you pull the clutch lever in. Mm -hmm. So I've gone two kilos um, and we'll see where, where they end up. I think these will be fine. If anything, we'll be going um, heavier. So basically you've then got the end cap. Now these aren't welded on yet, um, obviously, I've waited till today so yep. we could see them. So there's the end cap which duplicates the original. We use the same tube that goes mm -hmm. in between the, the ratchet box and the end cap. So that's designed, as you can see, it won't go in. That's got a light interference um, fit. Is that the same way the originals are made in terms of being welded, welded on? Uh, they're, they're cast, aren't they? So yeah, they're, they're cast, different. but I, I don't know. Um, I think they're all, they're, it looks like they've got some weld marks around the outside. I, I don't know, I'll smash one one day and have a look. <laughs> um, but with this, we'll press them in, in place, weld them from the inside, yep. and we only need three welds. Each a weld will hold a ton. Yeah. Uh, so we just need some three nice welds on to distort anything. Yeah. Um, they'll come complete like that, welded together, obviously, bush, pilot reamed, ready to go. So brass bushing already the in there. The brass bushing already one, in there. One of yours? Yeah, one of mine. Um, but they will be offered initially no ratchet box. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the whole idea is to sort of keep control of the cost and believe me, it's uh, out mm -hmm. of control with these. Material alone is, is makes up for two thirds of the, well, you know, not quite two thirds, but um, over half of the, of the cost of the thing. Um, so there's the material, there's the machining time. Yeah, there's a lot of machine time. And there's uh, not in, much left after that, is there? No, no. Um, and the 20s are going to be a little bit more expensive, but they won't be huge. We're just looking at, at another program um, and, and the, uh, the the length of the of the material of the uh, finished product. I think these are something like 190, 230 or 40 rings a bell mm -hmm. uh, with the 20. Um, so that's how they'll be available. You use your ratchet box. If people want me to set them up, I will bolt their ratchet box in um, and then pilot room the new bush. Yep. So they'll be perfectly concentric with, the, right, with yep. the deal. And what we will do, this one is standard bolt pattern. Yep. Okay. And they're threaded as well, I see. They're threaded, yep. And, but what we will do, uh, we did this one just for a trial. I'll probably do the rest of them anyway. But we've gone to six. That's interesting. You've got, and what's what's the benefit of the six? Well, or six in case there? someone cross reads and yeah. buggers a thread, they can just index it and go again. Holes to spare. <laughs> yeah, um, it sort of made sense in it sort of. You know, when when you start making things and you start producing, me, I always come up with a better yeah. plan half the time. I thought, well, you know, whilst in the machine, 
why would you not do mm. that? Yeah. So that, so there's only one like that. I might maybe do the others. I don't know. I think I think with these ones, it's just mainly the fact that you're actually making them is the, yeah. is the improvement, isn't it? Because yeah. no one else is making them at the moment. Really. Yeah, no, um, no one else has made them. They have been made um, before. Not not at scale, though, really. <clears throat> not. I don't think. Um, uh, yeah, they were put into production. Well, I, I actually spoke to to the young fellow that made them. Mm -hmm. He actually contacted me and, right, yeah. and actually complimented. Uh, complimented me on them, yeah, uh, which I thought was uh, was very good. Uh, he just we just went over the you know just sort of CNC talk, uh -huh. uh, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I th I think he realised how much work there was involved. Yeah. And everybody want 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 wants yeah. until the price hits them. Yeah. And they're, they're not going to be cheap. I don't know what we'll get them in the store for, but they're not going to be cheap. But they'll be a one-off purchase. If you can break that, well, good luck to you. Um, <laughs> There'll be a one-off purchase for that special machine. It'll do away with all the rollers out there that, I mean, yeah, people pay $250 for, for two crappy old rollers. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the next evolution of these, so the S17s, they'll be available in store, limited number initially. Yep. We'll see how they sell, and then we'll go from there. And are you um, doing, so you're doing the 17s, you're doing the 20s, the 14s maybe, and then- Oh, we'll definitely triple. do a 14, definitely do a 14. Yeah. Uh, I might just keep two here. Um, and when they go, if someone wants them the next day, well, they'll have to wait. Yeah. Um, the the next evolution of these will be I'm going to shrink them, mm -hmm. right, um, by five mil. Mm -hmm. So they'll look exactly the same as this. They'll be just shrunk diameter wise. Yeah. Everything will conform here, radius will all look the same. Yeah. So you can put rubber on. Yeah. Yeah. So th they'll be for the people that want to to um, to rubber coat a roller. The difference with mine will be it'll bring the machine back more closer to the original spec. Mm -hmm. um, I've never liked the rubber with the, you know, the angle of attack on the bed knife. In um, terms of the, the the way the mower sits on the yeah on the yeah I just so. don't I, I think Malcolm Bonner got it right in day one yeah and I think we're messing with something that is good. So when you vulcanize one of the original rollers, you, you're lifting six, six up the back mil. end. So, six mil. Oh, right, I didn't realize that was quite a bit. Rolling well. diameter right. is increased, yeah. so it changes your gearing. Yeah. People's complaint with a Scott Bonner, I hate many times, goes too fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it's making a couple of changes that I don't really think that we need. Yeah. Um, so this will alleviate that. Yeah. So we'll go down five mil. Yep. Um, which will only increase the height one mil, so yeah. that's not the heat of the it's negligible, isn't it? Yeah, so in the grand scheme of a model, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll allow for the rubber sleeve. So that's the next evolution of these. The center roller we're doing at the moment, okay? The, um, so the unicorn? The center roller, yeah. yeah. So that'll that'll be um, uh, the next thing available. Yeah. Um, so we'll, I think two 17s and the center roller make up the, the triple. Mm -hmm. um, the 20s will be available separately taller, obviously, mm -hmm. um, for a standard 20. Um, and yeah, that's sort of where we're at. The yeah. next step will be to make the ratchet box. Ratchet boxes, yeah. Then the pole holders and then the poles, and then it's complete. Yeah, because you already do the shafts. So. I already do the shafts. Yeah. So I'll offer an exchange surface, uh, service, uh, maybe we'll look at that where someone sends me a roller, complete. Mm -hmm. I'll strip it, rebuild it with two new drums, new shafts, new bushes. Yeah give it back to them yeah. using their um, ratchet box and pole holders, Whatever. or they can strip it and just send those components over to me. Mm. I have quite a few of those in stock, so I can actually have a roller complete here ready to go. Yeah. Someone just like to Turn exchange around. sole plate, yeah. you've got to send me the reclaimable, not broken, damaged, reclaimable. Like, like for like, really. Like for like, yeah. um, and they'll, they'll get it back assembled. Only problem we've got in this country at the moment is freight is like mm -hmm. out of control. Especially from WA. <laughs> yeah, so they're heavy, so freight is going to be an issue. I'm trying to resolve that. Yeah. Um, um, with different freight companies trying to try to contain the yeah. cost of that. Because um, you're making these right here in Perth, really, aren't you? We're made here. In, in Australia. We're made right here. Yeah. Um, WA owned, WA made. Um, and I suspect that um they'll go offshore mm -hmm. when people not by you no definitely <laughs> not they'll never go offshore um as far as uh, if i'm in control yeah uh, oh i am of what i do um 
So uh, I just suspect that that's, that's what will happen. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they won't. Um, but no doubt they could be done cheaper in uh, places like India and China. Yeah. Um, and I've said it before, I think on video, we don't work for a bowl of rice. Yeah. And um, our wages are what they are. Yeah. People want the big flash house, two boats, two cars, caravan, all the rest of the stuff. Wages get pushed up. Yeah. The cost of all this stuff goes up with it. it and that's why it costs a lot of money to, for us to manufacture stuff. But if I can get enough orders on these, I can get the price down a fair bit. If I can do a quantity of say 10 or 20 of these, I can bring the price down. Mm -hmm. So let's talk price. These, this video is going to be out after they're in the, after these are in the store. So yes. what what is your what is your current thinking price wise for I guess either a pair or a pair? Price wise, I reckon they'll be between um, around a seven seven fifty mark each. Mm -hmm. So each each for the pair. No, for the half. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so 50, a seven. pair of drums, you need to work on 1500. Yeah. And that's no ratchet box. If you haven't got 1500, yeah. you won't buy it. Okay. Um, and if I don't sell any, that's fine. I'll go into my top end restos. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll have them on my machines and so be it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, people got I a have a feeling they're going to sell. So. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a lot of money and, and you know, interest rates money. are going up and yeah. people got to clamp down. But it's a one of purchase. It's not. As though you're going to wear the thing out. Yeah. You know, um, I can't see people breaking them or, you know, they're going to last, uh, you know, the old cast ones have lasted all this time. That's true. So these are going to be a one off purchase for that person that's doing that very expensive, we'll come to that, <laughs> um, resto. So it's um, a shiny mower just sitting right out there. Yeah. Um, you yeah, know, these, these people will go for them, you know? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, what I will offer too is uh, powder coating. Yeah. So people, they look really good in, in, in primer, mm -hmm. powder coat primer. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll offer um, them in powder coat in um, the original olive green hammer yep. or the Rover Signal Red is what we've got close to it. So that'll be the entire drum painted yep. um, inside that? Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep. oh yeah. Um, and it'll be, it'll be the, yeah, complete powder coat ready, ready, to, to, ready to go, yeah. yeah. And, you know, to save on freight, freight people might buy them. I might buy freight too, but individually at a fair cost, mm -hmm. and then uh, they can put them together themselves. And are you going to be offering them uh, rubberized, vulcanized as well, or is that going to be a it's a it's a that they use to do? <laughs> it's a headache for us over here. The people that do them do a good job. Yeah. The last two I had with them was four months. Yeah. Mm. So they take <coughs> take um, a bit of time, do they? Yeah. 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 I said, what if I bring you twenty? Yeah, you know, I've got more than twenty rollers sitting here. Yeah. What if I bring that's the old one? Yeah. yeah. What if I bring you twenty? Oh well we'll do do what we can do. Yeah. So it's a matter of finding someone. The rubber sleeve thing uh, yeah. um I don't want to do it to be honest with you. No. People can do it. Yeah. You know? Um I'll supply them the roller. Um ready to for them, they can go and wait four months yeah. and get it vulcanized. Yeah. If I can sort out a deal with someone else over here. Um, and, and get that time constraint um, reasonable, um, you know, but, you know, I'm here, the city's an hour and a bit, mm. so I've got to get them to the city and get them back. Yeah. So I've either got to drive them there, I walk out of here, I'm not making someone frame, I'm not <laughs> making a real, I'm not running a CNC. Yeah. Um, yeah. Freight, if I can freight them, yes, I can, it's probably $29 minimum charge here, yeah. um, you know, to get, them to Perth, twenty nine dollars. It's all starting to yeah. add up. Yeah, yeah. So you know, um, <clears throat> local people here um, can take them into Rubber Tech, and mm. they can argue the point when they don't get them back. Yeah, in yeah. a reasonable yeah. lead time. Yeah, but it's one of those things. Some people have had good results there. I think it depends on what they've got on. Yeah, you know, they work for the mining industry, and yeah. if they've got something that needs to be done, well, then it's got to be done. Yeah. So that's the rear rollers. That's where we're at. Well, they're looking mighty good, I think. Uh, if you've been waiting patiently, they're finally here, everyone. So they're finally here. Uh, be quick, there's only a few straight up, yeah. and then there'll be a lead time of probably two or three weeks before so the next lot. These are the very first ones. These are the very first. There's, there's more to come. Yeah, yeah so there's, there's more here, um, but uh, this is the first batch, if you like. Very nice. So the only thing I've got to do to complete them, which I'll do now that we've done the video shoot, as I will weld the end cap in place, yep. um, put the bush in, pilot ring the bush, 
and then seal them so they don't rust, bag them, and then they're ready to go. Yep. And if someone wants me to deal with them, well, then I'll build it up, do whatever they like. Yep. Cool. So, so finally, it's been a long time, finally. Finally, yeah. But, um, <laughs> We've been talking about, talking about these ones for a while, so it's, it's yeah. amazing to see them done, you know, essentially done. Yeah. Um, I think last time I saw them, they were just the steel, there were no grooves in them. I don't think the tops were done. Caps weren't done, they were just, yeah, um, they were. Um, pretty raw. The, the basic machining had been yeah. done. So, um, is it, and these look like they look amazing. I, I, I got the option to have a look at them before we shot the video um, for the first time in person, and they are they are a million times better than the photos and the, the good photos even show. So yeah. they're uh, they're pretty pretty slick, right? Well, just before we started shooting the video, that fellow from Perth, <laughs> um, from north of Perth, uh, came in to up some parts and he was gobsmacked mm. he said i saw them on oh wow i saw them on your facebook page i think you know we talk about the unicorns and stuff like that right in this space and mm. uh, this is sort of like one of those mythical kind of elusive kind of unicorn-esque kind of things yeah. that's been bandied about you know people have made them yes but you know i've never seen a new roller in person myself so you know it's been it's great it's uh, <laughs> yeah well done <laughs> yeah yeah i don't think people have made everyone's them. gonna be happy who wants them i think so. yeah people have had, people have made them um and uh, mitchell made them before you know they look they look great they're really good sure they um but to, to put on the first person to to offer them i think to the to the punters out there yeah and um yeah we'll see if i don't sell them i'll continue to make them for my projects mm -hmm. um and, and that's it. But the unicorn one will be interesting yeah. because I've got two unicorns. One's got a good roller in it and the other's really worn and what option have you got? Yeah. Leave it like that or rubber it. I don't want to, I don't want to rubber anything. Yeah. Um, so to have a brand new roller um, on a unicorn that's worth a fair bit of money mm. and a lot of people have done some really nice um, restos out there, mm. this is just the icing on the cake. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, um, so motech.com.au yeah, yeah. for our friend Shane here and his rollers. Um, forgot to mention I'm Michael from Love Lawn and <laughs> Shane from Motech here, but anyway, you know who we are. <laughs> yep. uh, feel free to check out the website, get your orders in uh, quick smart, I guess. But uh, Yep, these, these, these two will be ready to go. They'll be in store Thursday, they'll be ready to go after the weekend. Yeah, cool. So if people want them, um, grab from the first lot and, uh, and then yeah, pending interest, we'll get the other lot underway as soon as we can. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Nice work, Shane. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> Thanks for joining us uh, for the video today. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoy the video today and this sort of content. Uh, feel free to subscribe, of course, for more videos like this as well. Uh, leave a comment, of course. Always really helpful. Love to hear from you guys. And uh, we'll catch you for the next video here on my voice. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.